hello so today we are doing a second problem of this uh, today's contest um, it's um, context B weekly context 12 number 12 um, and then so the the problem that we are looking at is called design leaderboard it's a medium problem and the problem says that we want to design a leaderboard class um, that um, has three functions essentially so these three functions are um, adding a score, right? And then also, um, so basically adding a score for a player, uh, which just updates by adding the score to the player's overall score. And if we ha don't have a, pl that a player with that ID yet, we should add him to the, to the leaderboard with that score. And a function tab k, which returns the score sum of the tab k players, and reset which just resets the player um, that we have the ID for to score zero. And it's initially empty and we get have some constraint here where the player ID is always bigger or equal to one. K can be up to 10,000, um, so it's a pretty big number. And um, we have a score is usually between one and 100 and we get 1,000, at most 1,000 calls. Um, so at least for for the uh, add score and and uh, and reset these if we use a map with the id as the player id just a half map then that would make it just o of one operation right now the, it's the top k that is tricky so top k um we want to do it in something that is not order of um uh we want to do it in something that is maybe better than some log k maybe because k can get to ten thousand, um, and so n is probably something like that. So if we can get log n or log k, that would be good. Um, so something that will help us solve this problem is um, something in Python called counter um, that basically just can. So if uh, let me just show you an example of using counter here. So let's import it first. It's in collections, and so let's just from collections. Um, let's take from collections. Want to import counter? So if you take, let's say, counter um, like this, and just call it some variable, you could. So let's say we get a player ID one, and want to give them score um, ten, right? And let's say player two. We give them score six, player three, um, three, we give them score three, player four, uh, let's give them 13. So you get the idea. The The interesting thing is that um, score uh, collections has this method called most common, which just lists the n most common elements from their count. And so basically, since we here, we use the score as count, it would give us the two elements that have the highest score. So if we give it three, it would give us the three players that have the highest scores. So 10, 13, 13, 10, and six, right? It leaves out three because it has score three. And so we could use this function here. Um, but this function gives us a pair of, um, a pair of, um, essentially a pair of um, the player ID and the score. We are interested only in the score, so we could just map that to get only the score, which is at position 1, right? And that pretty much gives us a score list of them, if I show a list here. So it gives us a list of the scores, and instead of doing a list, we can just sum the values and get the sum of the score of the top K. And so using that, we can find the top k very easily. And adding would be just doing something like this. And resetting, we could just have something like saying the player ID and setting their score to zero, right? So very straightforward. Um, so let's just implement that, right? So we need a counter. Um, let's call this uh, maybe counter. And let's import it. So from collections, we want to import counter. So pretty straightforward, right? And then we need counter here. 
Um, so counter, um, if the element doesn't exist, like what I did here in the example, um, so if I go back to the example here, if an element doesn't exist, let's say five doesn't exist yet, like right? So basically we have four, two, th three, and one. So if I use five, um, I get zero. So by default, any value that doesn't exist has value zero. So that's good. So we can just here add score, right? And for the top, to get the top, we're just going to apply what we just did in the console. So that would be taking the most common k values and mapping to get the score value and then th taking the sum of that and then returning that. And for resetting, we can just say of player ID is equal to zero. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's run. Submit. Okay, so that solution passes. Um, so what is the time complexity for this solution, right? So this here, um, initializing, this is just of one, right? We are just creating um, a counter, so not much. For this one here, this is what we are doing. It's just adding to a value in counter. Counter is a map under the hood, so that's just of one. Uh, for reset, same thing, we are just changing one value, so of one. Uh, for this one though, it's a little bit tricky. So most common, if you look at Python's documentation, um, its complexity is O of n like k, such that k is this value and n is the um, number of players. So n is the number of players. Or, or whatever content of counter would be. Um, so counter here would contain at most the number of players, right, that we have. Um, and so this is pretty much over like k, so these are the time complexity of all these functions. So next we'll see a slightly different, uh, we'll see a slightly different um, way of handling this. Um, so basically first, um, let me just say before that, the space complexity here. So the only additional space we are using is this counter, which will contain at most the number of players, right? So we have O of n um, uh, space complexity. And for for all of, but basically for the entire solution and for each method, it's this. So the overall time complexity would be uh, O of n like k, right? Okay, so next let's see a different solution using uh, a heap. Um, so a heap basically allows you to get the first largest or k largest elements from a, a list, right? And so we, what, the way we will change this solution is slightly, make it slightly different. So let's just reset it. And so what we are going to keep track of instead is a, just a map, right, of scores or, or of players to scores. So it would be the key would be um, player ID and the value would be the score. And so let's just initialize it to avoid having to check if a player is already in the list and then creating its value. We'll just do default dict and so that any element that doesn't exist with this will have value zero, right? And now to add a score, we'll just do scores um, of player ID Uh, would be equal, we will add score, right? And since the value is initialized to zero, we don't need to uh, to check if it's not there. Um, and then to find the top um, k values, we'll use heap q, which is just allows us to use a heap method that will put the elements in a heap and then extract the k largest ones. And so n largest, you give it k, and it will extract the k largest from whatever iterable we pass as the second parameter. And what is the the one we want to pass? That's the values of the scores, right? And we want to return the sum of that. Just to show you that this works, um, let's just do it this way with this. So let's just say we had these uh, scores. So player one has score 12, 
player two, let's say, has score uh, two. Uh, player two has score eight. Three has score eight. Uh, four has score uh, two. Um, and then you get the idea. So these are the scores, right? And so if we do a hip Q and largest uh, and largest, so what we will get is oh, okay. I need to import hip Q first. And so if we take hip Q and largest, so find the n largest elements in a data set, which is the iterable. So let's say we want the three largest scores in the scores values, which is 12, 8, 8, 2, 21, 1. So the two largest are 21, 12, and 8, right? These are the two largest values. And so that's what we get. And so all that is left is just to get the sum of that, right? And so that's what we are doing here. Um, now to reset, we can just delete that key from the score so that next time the value would be zero. Or we could also just set the value to zero. So we could just do something like this. Scores player ID. Or we could also set it alternatively, we could just set it to zero. Um, so here, same thing, we have O of one time complexity. Um, same thing here. And here we have similar as before and like k such that that's what and that's what heap q and largest um, complexity is um, and so like k um, such that n is the number of players um, k is um, whatever top function is um, yeah so that's pr and the space complexity for this is um, oven uh, sorry, is it oven? It's yeah, oven such that n is the number of players. Yep. Um, yeah. So that's it for this problem. Thanks for watching, and see you.